What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hard Park 703 channel. So very rarely do you get the opportunity to add value to your car, you know? And so I'm speaking more like in the tuner scene and stuff, you know? If you've got a project car and stuff, you're probably gonna like chop it up or, you know, take things out, install stuff. But regardless, you're probably gonna get devalued, right? Well, this is a really rare opportunity where I actually increase the value of the vehicle. So before mumbling on and on and on, let me just, let's get right to it. So do you guys recognize anything? <laughs> These are the exact same boxes that I picked up in a previous video. So I'll give you a hint on this one. Remember how much I gave a shout out to Melrose Corvette? Well, obviously when you love a company, you're gonna do business with them again. And then one with another exact same product. Ooh, authentic GM. Let's see what we got. Oof, look at that. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Just as gorgeous as last time. Which brings us to my new roof. Looks pretty secure. Came with all the same foam and everything. Well, I don't think it went through, though. I think it's got multiple layers. And then, oh, I guess this is... This should have been, I guess, like this. But... Check. Doesn't look like it's damaged or anything. Let's take this bad boy out. All right. Let's cut this thing open. And now I present to you my new roof. Look at that. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Check that out. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that looks so good. Wow. Look at that. Not a scratch on it. It is absolutely flawless. Look at that. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Don't get under the, don't get under the hood. Don't go, go, go. Don't get under the hood. No, not hood, sorry, roof. Sorry, guys. All right. Wow. <laughs> that is so nice. <laughs> oh, the shine on it's so, so nice. Right, let's take a look at the bottom. Oh, this thing is flawless. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. Not a dent, nothing. It is just absolute perfection. Oh, I'm in love. <laughs> All right, bottom. Bottom's really nice, nice and clean and everything. So this right here, the headliner, it's just, it's like a black cloth, almost kind of like a, like a memory foam. Um, it's really nice. Still matches the inside of the vehicle and stuff. Um, and best of all, obviously like the, the heat will dissipate. So that is my new pride and joy. <laughs> so let me explain all so of why it. the new roof, right? Well, you know, I was super thrilled with the other roof as you guys saw and everything um i love it to death and everything um but i stored it um it, it's it's just not meant for the summers that we have here now um it, it's just way too hot and it's not meant for that i guess uh so it, it i've come to terms it's, it's a winter roof um and so i'll put it on the vehicle uh once everything cools down here because we're still all of summer, it's been like 90 degrees and above and stuff. Um, tomorrow, the reason why I'm making this video now is because tomorrow is like the first day that it's going to be like 86 the high um, for tomorrow. So I, I can I can live with that. Um, so I'll wash the car early. I'll go cruising and stuff like that. And I'm just not going to be pouring sweat. Uh, last weekend, there were so many car shows that I wanted to go to, but it was like 108 degrees um, with the humidity factored in and stuff. I'm, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore. Maybe when I was younger and stuff like that, but I just, uh, that's, it's disgusting. <laughs> but anyways, all right. So the other roof is stored and I loved it and stuff. And so I went back to the, um, painted roof that came with the car and everything. And so, um, I still wanted a different look, right? But if I wasn't gonna use the glass roof, I, except until winter time, then I mean, I didn't really have anything new on the car right now. Right. So, you know, the more I think about something, the more I start looking into it and into it and into it. And then that's my problem. I just have too much time on my hands. And all of a sudden I get it stuck in my head. Like, 
you need that. You really, really need that. You need to buy that right now. I don't care what means you need to go through or whatever like that, but you need to get this right now. And you know, that's, that's a really bad way to live, but I pulled the trigger. <laughs> but to make myself feel better, um, this is authentic GM. So that means a lot of things actually. But regardless, it's since it's a factory piece, that means I literally now have, remember how I told you now I have every single package on the vehicle? I did have every single package as of uh, the dual roof, you know, package that I have. And now I have the triple, <laughs> it's not even a package, but now I say like, I've got the triple roof package. So I've got everything that they pretty much offered for the Z06. And yeah, I mean, like, you know how rare that is to, to find a Corvette, like, or at least like a C7 with all the roofs. Um, and so, and especially like this one that doesn't have the, this one that doesn't have the edges um, painted, you know, I, I didn't want the edges painted. So I, I, I requested that it, it wouldn't be um, factory color matched and stuff because yeah, yeah, it looks cool and everything. Um, I'll get into that. Uh, hopefully I remember. So while I'm filming, I, I go back into that, but yeah, I didn't want the, the edges painted. I just wanted a solid, um, carbon fiber. And so there you go. So that's even more rare because you're going to find all the ones that are being resold. The edges are already painted. So, I mean, I don't know how to scrape paint off carbon fiber or if that's even possible. And so then that way you can leave the carbon fiber underneath it exposed again, but I assume you probably can't and you just have to repaint it. Um, with your color, whatever your Corvette would be, you know, and it's probably not going to be the same color as the person who's selling it and stuff, you know, because these are pretty rare on the market. Um, I see them advertised from time to time, especially on eBay, but like people really want like, they want like full price for it and it could be like scratched up. It could be dinged. It could be like salvaged or whatever, you know, and they not even like for a thousand bucks or like $3,000. And so I was like, if I'm going to pay that, then I'm going to, I'm going to get a brand new one. GM. Everything, at least I, I feel better knowing that everything's going to fit flawlessly because like my, my, the other roof, it fit perfectly. This has got all the same mounting hardware and stuff. It's all authentic GM mounting hardware. And that's what came in the small other little box that I still got to put on one of the latches underneath, just like I did last time. And then we'll be good to go. But see, so that right there is more peace of mind for me because you could go with another aftermarket company, which it's not going to be cheaper. It's going to be the exact same price, if not more expensive, um, and you know, what if, what if they supply different types of mounting hardware or something and the seals just not the same. Remember I told you I had an issue with the seal last time. So nothing leaks and everything. It's the tightest seal I've ever seen in like my entire life with the, the glass roof and stuff. So even though there's more of a gap between the windshield and the top of the, the, the front edge of the glass roof, it feels tighter than the, the painted one that came on the car. So regardless, it's not going to leak. And that's why I assume this is probably going to be just as tight or it might have a different, a little bit of a different fit, whatever. But anyways, so that's, that's one plus. All right. That's one plus. Yeah. Th that's one positive. All right. So let's get into the other positives. All right. So another thing is it is so hard to find a company that can give you a straight answer on, well, I guess I should say it depends on if the company actually makes their own carbon fiber or if they, outsource the production to someone else um, because it's difficult to find a company that can give you a straight answer on the weave, right? The carbon fiber weave. Um, and so the reason why I bring that up is because I wanted to match the, the factory style, the factory carbon fiber weave. Um, and so I did that with the hood. Um, and so I want to do that with the roof and uh, yeah, we're not going to get into other things. Um, that'll be a surprise, but um, I want to, Everything that I'm ordering, I, it needs to match, right? It, it's going to look silly if, if it doesn't flow the same All right, way. So, so you get what I'm saying with the weave? So this is obviously like the, the windshield's right here. And this is the obviously the front of the roof, and then that's the rear. You see the, the weave is going like that, right? So, And then if you remember, the, like if, if you know, I'm going to throw this on the car later, so we'll, we'll go over this. But I'm just saying if, if my hood is here, it's the same pattern. So you see, so like if you're at the front of the vehicle and you were to be looking up, all, the entire vehicle is now going to be, the weave is going to be going the same way. You'd be surprised on how many companies actually make the weave um, go the opposite way. So all of a sudden, you're, you know, you're not, you're not thinking about that. You know, you, you see such a beautiful carbon fiber piece and you're just like, all right, boom, add the cart, done. It's arriving. Right. And so like it gets to your house and stuff and you're looking at it and you're like, this is amazing. It's, it's absolutely beautiful stuff. And then you put it on the car and then maybe like, you know, you finally stand back and you're like, something looks a little odd. Right. 
almost because your eyes are obviously like the you know the, the weave is flowing one way and then it looks at the next piece and then it's flowing this way so it looks like a like a weird puzzle or something you know um so i didn't want that and um it, you know there, there's nothing wrong with that um i'm sure many people probably have carbon fiber parts that don't have the same weave i was going to say that they don't flow well together but i'm sure they probably flow well together it's just the, the weaves off so it's just not my style um and so I'm fortunate enough to have been able to talk to Rob um, from Rob's house um, on YouTube. Uh, probably a lot of you guys know Rob. Um, and if not, super cool guy. Rob, like, you're awesome stuff. Now, uh, you know, you always help me out with installs and everything thanks to your videos and stuff. So, anyways, giving him a shout out real quick. But, so Rob has um, a piece that doesn't match the weave on another piece. And so he actually points that out too. And so it, it'll be the same shine and everything like that. The, the gloss, the, the clear coat and everything is the same stuff, blah, blah, blah. But it's just when you're looking at the, the pattern, it, it, it zigzags. And so it just, you know, it, 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 it kind of bothered him a little bit and stuff. And so I made note of that because I was like, uh, yeah, that, that would probably be an issue for me too. And so I did some more digging. I did some more research and stuff, trying to find companies that actually, you know, all, all the weave is going to be the same throughout from yeah, part obviously to part. this is a gm factory part so of course <laughs> it that's the actual pattern that comes on the vehicle right and so what i should have said was i'm fortunate enough that my hood matches now the authentic carbon fiber pattern that comes on the vehicle um because obviously i will i bought the hood a long time ago um and so that could have set the precedent i'm not i'm not gonna use big words <laughs> that could have set the stage for um, like what weave I had to choose for the rest of the parts that I'm going to get for the vehicle and stuff, right? If I was ever going to choose more carbon fiber, which I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm fortunate enough that the hood carbon creations went with the exact same, uh, direction. And so now my hood and my roof now match. So it's, I can't, I, I'm not, so yeah, that's, that's the best thing you could ask for. The fact that the hood and the roof now match. So, I mean, I, I couldn't be any happier with that. The last amazing part about this whole purchase is the fact that, well, you know how I said it was absolutely flawless, right? I mean that. I It's 100% flawless. I couldn't, I, I can't believe it. Like, I'm always expecting, not the worst case scenario, but I'm always expecting something during shipping, you know? Um, and I, I'm not going to blame the companies and stuff. I mean, once they ship it, it's, it's out of their hands. They can insure it and everything, which is awesome, by the way. Melrose Corvette does insure all their roof. So that's, that's something. Um, but yeah, so I was like, ah, oh, it's going to have like a little ding. You're going to have to deal with it. Try not to focus on it. Try not to look at it. But this thing, amazing. Well, the reason why I say that is because, yeah, okay, I made the Carbon Creations hood. Oh, yeah, hood. Yeah, the Carbon Creations hood look flawless and everything but it it's it's not it's not it has so many like imperfections you would say right creases dents dings little scuff marks like um all those things could be taken care of 100 percent if it was professionally like sanded down or whatever and re-cleared because i mean that thing doesn't even have a clear coat on it i, I don't even think it has a clear coat on it I, and if it does it's like the super thinnest clear cut I've ever seen in my entire life. But anyways, so that stuff can be fixed. So that's why it doesn't, I don't lose sleep over it because I know that I could fix that if I wanted to, but I already did the best I could to try to, you know, like blend in all the imperfections and stuff by waxing it heavily and everything and like sanding it down to first with like rubbing compound and stuff. And so it doesn't bother me as much, but there you go. Perfect example of you get what you pay for. And so why do I say that? Because there were some hoods for the Corvette that were like $4,000, $5,000, right? Same design. And so I was like, how different could they possibly be? Why don't I just get this hood that's like half that price? And there you go. I'll be able to, I'll be able to, you know, have some money in my pocket for the next part and stuff like that. Well, there you go. Um, after seeing this, the, the way this roof came out i mean when you spend a lot of money on something at least it comes just a solid craftsmanship right and so now i know just 
you know, drop splurge when you're going to buy like a big piece for the car, right? You just get it done right the first time because if you're going to try to save yourself a few bucks, then you might have some issues and stuff like that. And so now I know that, right? So the hood had some issues. I can deal with that and stuff like that. They can be fixed, everything. Uh, had I gotten a more expensive hood, I'm sure it would have probably come out flawless. Um, but not that I'm knocking on any other like company that would make roof. I'm, I'm sure many carbon fiber companies make beautiful roofs, but I'm going to go with a carbon fiber company that's probably going to ask for uh, the same amount as GM asked for this. Um, because if, if you find one that's like 50% of the price, then I'm going to start questioning it too. You know what I'm so saying? So the carbon creation hood, right? So that's the carbon fiber part I saved a few bucks on. Well, like I said, it came with a lot of those imperfections and everything like that. And the clear coat was like non-existent. With this thing, it comes fully cleared with a real good heavy <laughs> clear coat on there. And like I said, not a scratch on it. Fingerprints here and there, of course. I mean, they got it loaded on. But I'm about to wax this thing. As soon as I wax this thing, I am dying to see what this thing is going to look like waxed. You guys have seen what my parts look like once they get waxed. It's super shiny. The, the hood, I haven't driven the car in two and a half weeks. And I waxed the, the hood um, because I was going out for like two consecutive weekends in like super hot conditions with like just pure sunshine. So wax only lasts you so long and stuff, you know. So I just wanted to make sure I like took it off with um, a polishing compound and then reapply the new layer, which I learned by the way, um, you shouldn't just apply multiple layers of wax to something. Um, you're actually supposed to use a polishing compound to like almost sand it down and then reapply a new layer and stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, I did that. And so the vehicle is waiting for me in the garage and everything. And I, so I haven't driven in like two and a half weeks, but that thing's already waxed, super shiny. It's just, it's absurd. Every single time I wax it, just the difference between cruising around for like two weekends, washing it like two or three times and stuff, and then seeing the wax kind of like diminish a little bit. You Well, you would say like two or three times and the wax diminished. I'm not necessarily saying that. I'm just saying after you wash the car and everything, put, you know, dried it off and stuff, compared to a fresh, a super fresh coat of wax, there's a difference between how shiny it is, right? How glossy it is. So that's why the vehicle is just right now super glossy right there. At least the hood, the, the whole car's dirty, but I just did the hood. Um, and then this thing, as soon as I wax this, so I just, uh, I can't wait to see how shiny so I'm going to go ahead and wax this roof. Um, I'm going to swap it with the uh, painted roof that's on the vehicle right now. Um, it's a little dirty. I'm, so I'm probably just going to like wipe it down and then I'm, I'm probably going to wax it as well. If I'm probably not going to be realistically, I'm not going to put on that painted roof for a long time. Yeah, probably for a long, long time. Like I'm talking about like maybe years. <laughs> so um, I'm going to get it waxed. Um, so then that way I can obviously like, that's that's why I got the other, the storage bag, you know, like I, I need two storage bags. If I got three roofs, one roof is going to be on the vehicle at all times. And then the other two have to be stored. So that's what's going to go in there. Um, and so I just want to wax it. I mean, if it's going to be stored for a long time, it might as well just leave it flawless. Um, because I feel like for the most part of the year, I'll probably ride around now with the carbon fiber um, rooftop and then I'll switch over to the glass one in wintertime because since it allows all that heat, that radiating heat to come in, at least in wintertime, if it's going to be like 40 degrees outside, and but it's a sunny day, at least the interior of the vehicle is going to have to, it's going to be really warm, you know? Um, so that's why I'm saying it's a winter uh, roof because of the fact that, I mean, right now I don't want it to be hot on the inside, but when it's wintertime and I'm freezing and stuff like that, I'm going to be driving the car, which realistically am I going to be driving the car in like many 40 degree days no but the times that I do take it out in winter at least it'll be a little toastier in there than with the other roof right okay so anyways let's get to all, right, all this. so I already took off the other roof and just brought it down here I gotta clean it up before I store it but this one I almost forgot that I had to attach the uh the rear latch before I even wax it on the other side so now that i've got it completely upside down and the light's hitting it i mean see so you get a better idea of what this looks like it's it's nice you see it's like it's textured but super soft and it's got that kind of like memory foam impression it's really nice um and then what's even better the underside of the carbon fiber like look how beautiful that is that is so nice. Not even, no imperfections, even on the bottom side. 
You can see right there, it comes all the way around. Just look, ah, it's, oh, I'm in love with this thing. That That's just, it's such amazing quality. But okay, all right, enough about that. Let's get this on and then we'll flip it over. Like two minutes to assemble, but I noticed something. So this didn't happen with the last one. Um, okay, so the release is right here, right? So it should, this thing should flip up. However, it's getting stuck right here. So I was like, I don't, I don't understand what it's hitting or whatever, you know? So you re-engage it, it's flat, and then you push the release and then it goes up, but it doesn't go all the way up. So I was like, what, what's the deal with, with it, right? So this thing, it's getting caught right there. You can see it. You can see that this piece is getting caught on this ledge. So, you see? I think I didn't take off my finger. <laughs> but, okay, you see this square piece right here? Look. I think it's caught right there. So you gotta, like, hold here, lift that up, and see? Like, now it goes all the way, the way it's supposed to release. Um, because, you know, like, here will be the, the, what do you call it? You know, like, kind of like the, this thing hooks on right here. You know, like, it, it catches it, and then it pulls it in. And then you lock it into place and you're good. So that's that's annoying right there. Like I don't I don't understand how that happened. Like it, nothing looks broken. Nothing looks broken in there. You know, it looks like this is the way it should have come, but I don't see why it's Yeah, weird. But anyways, it's not it's it doesn't look like it's a problem. Um so because if you're gonna put it on the vehicle, you have to have this thing open. So it'll already be open. And then when you, obviously it's upside down, but when you engage it, so this thing will engage, it'll hook it in and then locks into place. So you're fine. Um, it's just, I guess when you release. So when I, when I release, hope, hopefully the, Hopefully this thing will be pulled out more or whatever when it's releasing, when it's actually like hooked on in the vehicle. Um, it's hard to explain, but I hope you guys know what I'm saying. Because then otherwise, if I open this up, every single time I'm going to have to try to, I guess, dig. <laughs> I'm going to have to dig a finger in here or whatever and try to pull this thing open. And that that could be an issue. So we'll take a look at that when I put that on the car. So I figured it out. Um, okay, so... See, I was getting caught, obviously, like I told you. Okay, so you can actually pop it. Oh, let, me, let me try. So that way, you, I just got to put some force on it, just a little bit. It's not, it's not a lot because the thing is, okay, so the thing is, this piece right here, it's part of the plastic cover. So this is just plastic right here. This is metal. So it gets caught right there. And this metal right here, it's it's shaved down like at a 45 degree angle. So it's not just solidly like a solid 90 degree angle right there, which is good. Because if it gets caught right there, all I have to do is just put a little bit of pressure and it comes off. Like it see, like it's starting to wear away the, the black um coating or whatever, but if if this metal piece is just touching this plastic, I, I can live with that. I don't care if this plastic wears away and stuff. I mean, I don't think the metal's going to wear away before this plastic piece does. So it's just something to know. So if it's locked into place, then I push the button back here. Then it doesn't lift all the way. I can... There you go. So it is what it is. I mean, you know, things could be worse. So I'm not going to complain about something like that. All right. Unfortunately, I'm going to... I'm going to have to shave that down. I'm going to have to shave that ledge down. Um, there's a little bug. <laughs> yeah, I have to shave that down because it's starting to get caught a lot more aggressively. So, see, so now when I, I'm pushing, I'm pushing with pretty good force and this thing's not coming up. So, I don't, I don't want to have an issue once I put it on. So, I'm going to have to shave the plastic piece down right there, right in between those two. Things like between here and here, I'm just gonna shave that a little bit because you can see right there the marking. 
and then you can see the marking right there on the middle. So, all right, I'm gonna get a file. Okay, so that sucked. Um, let me show you what I had to do. All right, well, luckily I have all these small little like uh, files and stuff like that, you know, um, mill saws and stuff like that. Um, extra tapered, whatever you want to call it. Um, I had to shave that down significantly, like significantly. Um, and I had to do it at like a tapered angle, so... You can see how like on the inside I tried to do like a 45 degree angle and then I shaved it flat like along the top. Um, and you can see how this thing started wearing away more because um, it was rough. And so um, when it was rough, I was trying to like smoothen it out after I was using the more rough textures on the on those over there. So now like look at the pile like on the outside, on the inside it's even worse. So I got to use a vacuum to get all that out before I turn this thing upside down. But okay, so... This thing is locked into place. So let's say it gets caught right there, right? So now barely, I don't even touch it. Like, right, right, see? So I can live with that. I could continue doing it, but I really don't care to. <laughs> see, so just right there, I barely touch it. Right there, okay. So that's that's good enough. All right, um, I'm gonna get a vacuum to get all that out and stuff and then I'll wipe it down and then we'll turn it over but that's something to keep in mind um just in case you get one of these that's a little off because it's not like you know uh what do you call it um not all these I guess not all the roofs are going to be 100% identical right like all the latching mechanisms and everything blah, blah blah so you might encounter this problem if you do at least now you know you can just shave this down just a little bit. It's, it's plastic. It, it's easy. And you can do that. And you could have taken this off. I could have unscrewed this or whatever and just done this somewhere else. But I was just, I was lazy. So anyways, I'm very happy that I fixed that. Okay. Called in the heavy artillery. All right. So just make sure whatever vacuum you have that you at least have this attachment. This is really old. But yeah, you just need a super thin one. And this will reach in there beautifully. And I was able to get everything out so there's no dust or anything left and I was playing with it a lot more and so now it doesn't even doesn't even get caught so that's really nice so yep awesome so yeah so just file it down and then just get a vacuum with this attachment problem solved all right now I'm finally ready to wax but if you were to ask me if I think this thing weighs less than the uh, the painted one I have over there, then I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because when I flip this thing over, it's just, it, it doesn't have the same weight as the painted one. And you could argue that paint weighs more. Yeah. Okay. But I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but like this thing is, it feels a lot lighter. So, well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Weight savings <laughs> is a heck of a shoulder workout. Let me show you the night and day difference though. This Look is at that. awesome. You can already tell just how much more shiny that is with the reflection. Just look at that. Here, I'll put the light right there on the edge. It's just so, so nice. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, man, that is, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Stand over here. Okay, time to put it on the car. Okay, you have no idea what kind of a pain it was to just put this roof on. I thought the other glass roof was a tight fit. This is absurd. This thing, it's like suction, like full on suction. Um, let, let me explain, this took all my strength. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, the two pins, right? There's like, there's one right there. And then there's another one right there, right? And then these are the levers, right? So these have to be opened because right now they're they're locked into place. So the, the front of the roof is locked into place. I don't want to take these out to be more specific because this was just a pain to do. Uh, but, okay. So, and then this is obviously the rear latch, right? Okay. So you also have to put in two pins here. You got to put in one pin there. And then you got to put one pin in over here, right over your driver head right the driver's side head <laughs> okay so you slide this into place first so you put these two pins in here first right and so with this one what i had to do is i had to 
like put my hand here and push so then the roof would go back here and you know be squished as much as possible against here and same thing on this side i had to do the same thing right okay but that wasn't doing it enough because the pins weren't lined up with the hole they were a little bit too far forward so it wasn't catching the hole even though the hole is at like a 45 degree angle so then that way it slides into place it still wasn't enough so what i had to do what well, because I, i'm i was yanking on these things you guys i was yanking on it and i was terrified i was gonna break something so this thing is unlatched, obviously, when you're going to put it on. So you hook it on. You hook it on to the... You see? And as you're hooking it on, it's going to pull the whole roof back, right? It's going to it's gonna start putting pressure on it. So then it it's about to engage here. So you can either engage it fully or... I mean, I just left it kind of halfway. And then that pulled it enough towards the back, like that way. So then that way, the pins lined up more with the holes and so since these were out i was able to yank down um it, that side was getting caught more than this side so i was really putting a lot more pressure here and so i was able to yank down and it it slid into place but barely and so then that way that's when i finished clipping this in and then these right here to to push those levers and lock it into place was so hard so i mean this thing is solid so i'm i'm almost certain like no <laughs> there's no way water would ever get in there or anything so let me show you the edges let me show you the whole product i am so so thrilled with this one remember last time i thought i was thrilled with that fake carbon fiber well i mean it was real carbon fiber but i mean it was just you, you got what i'm saying it, it didn't work out last time okay this time it worked out beautifully okay so like i was saying like this whole thing had to be pushed back right so that seal right there is just wedged it it Definitely, <laughs> this right here, that rubber seal right there has never been pushed up so much like with the other roof. So that means that is a such a solid pinch. So nothing's going to get on there. And then, okay, well, see, damn it. Okay, you see how, I just noticed that now that I'm on the outside. You see how that's even further in? Like that's that's a lot further in. Okay, so... The painted, okay, I'm glad I'm filming this because <laughs> now I see. Okay, so the painted one basically covered this seal, right? Then remember with the glass one, I said you could see this full seal right here exposed. So it basically came to like where my, where my pinky is right there, right? And so now this one, I guess, is even more in because now this is even exposed. So that's that's definitely something cuz look at that that's really exposed. So that goes all the way to the other side. Okay, so now I'm beginning to understand how or why it was a pain to get it on because obviously this just wasn't it's not that it's not lined up right it's just it is what it is, right? Like I said, like not all the roofs are going to be the same and everything. So it's like each roof I was getting, each roof I've been getting it's like smaller almost in a way like where the pins like either the pins are pushed in further in or the, the roof itself is smaller so um i don't see that as being a problem but hopefully if i try to take this i'm gonna try to take this off right now and hopefully it doesn't like just rub up against the the seal like as if it's gonna like break the seal or something so i'm gonna i'm gonna try that before i show you guys okay I so i loosened up the the levers so you see how the the lever like i i I pulled it out. So now the levers on that side and that side are out. So that allowed the roof to raise a bit. And so now, see how the roof sits? The roof sits a lot better. Like it, it doesn't sit so far in, obviously. So this is the way I, I wish it, it would be because when I latch those down, it this piece just really digs into here and it pulls it down um maybe maybe the maybe you can like loosen up the levers i'm gonna see if i can loosen up these these latches uh, well not like le levers whatever um like maybe you, i can unscrew it a little bit so then that way it's not as tight um so we'll see there um but yeah i'm playing with it um it's a t40 torx bit um to loosen up the levers and so i thought loosening up 
the levers um, would allow a little bit more play, right? So like, you know, like, well, you can't see in here, but point being, I was trying to back out the, the, the bolt. So then that way it would, you know, probably maybe, maybe I was saying like, maybe it wouldn't put so much pressure on it. So then that way it would kind of like raise the roof up a little bit, but that didn't work. I was just, I was messing with the, um, the bolt, um, for the lever and it was just making the lever loose itself. So that was, it wasn't doing anything with the roof at all. So I just tightened it back up and now the levers are just as fine. Um, so it's not damaging the carbon fiber. I was checking the edge, make sure like the edge didn't like, you know, it wasn't like this, this is very soft, by the way, obviously it's just, it's weather stripping. Um, it, I was just making sure that it's not like, you know, brushing up against it so harshly that it was going to like you know, wear it away or something like that. But yeah, so I mean, it, it is what it is. It's, it's going to dig down into it. Um, I wish it would sit a little bit further forward, but um, there's there's not much it can do. So let me latch it back into place and then let me Okay, see. well, latched back down and uh, yeah, so it's, that's a, it's significantly pulled in, obviously. Like the other ones were obviously flush with this. So this is much more recessed. Um, it is what it is. Uh, the weather stripping doesn't seem like it's it has an issue per se, you know, like it, it looks fine. Um, I think, uh, I hope that's okay. I hope that's not a gap or anything. Um, it, it's going to be the same exact issue on the other side. Um, so hopefully when I wash this car, because I want to wash this car tomorrow and then take pictures and everything. Um, so it'll see what it all looks like out in the sun and everything, you know. So I'm hoping like when I'm washing it, none of the water is going to trickle in or anything. But, I mean, at least the thing's solid. It's not going anywhere, obviously. Um, it's just a small little issue with that, you know? So we'll see if we can address that at some point. So now let me show you the whole ah. thing. So what do you think? All right. So <sighs> freshly waxed hood to match the freshly waxed roof. So you see the, the weave? It's like this. And then you just travel up, and the weave is like that again. So just flows beautifully transitions beautifully for that matter and so i didn't want to paint this because you'd be like well why don't you just paint it it'll, it'll flow just just hold on in another video you'll see why i didn't want to paint that okay um so trust me it's gonna flow even better um but yeah so like look super clean and everything um it, it's it's all coming together really nicely i'm i'm so happy with this um it, it looks beautiful like look at that Wow, I can't wait to get this thing out in the sun tomorrow. This this thing should look really, really good. Um, I can't, the only thing that's taken away from my enthusiasm right now, the reason why I'm not laughing so much is because of that issue that I just pointed out, you know? Um, I just don't like having issues with parts. But ultimately, this this whole thing, it, it, it came out beautifully. It, it, it works. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, and the fact that, the, like I said, the right. weaves match. I'm in a great mood again. As soon as I finished filming that segment, I had already finished filming the video. Like I was like, all right, it is what it is. I'm not going to be able to figure that out. It's, it's just not going to fit right. But I was like, all right, there's got to be something, right? And so anyways, I, I ended up using the T40 Torx bit to loosen up the bolts completely for those levers. And so even though the levers were just completely loose, I was like, well, it seems to be affecting the levers, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the, the roof. But I, I just kept backing out the bolts little by little. And it actually worked. It actually worked. So the levers are a little loose, but they tighten back up as soon as you latch it into place. So it's not like the roof is going to be, the roof isn't going to be just bouncing up and down when I'm driving. Like it, it's solid once it's latched in. It's the fact that once you unlatch it, the the levers aren't tight. So, I mean, it, if that's the scenario, then I, I can live with that. So let me show you how much more even it got on both sides. All right, so that was, this corner right here was definitely digging and you guys could, you guys can at least, <laughs> you know, vouch for that. Um, so look at that. I got it right there, nice and flush. You see that from there to there, just perfect. Still super tight, no no leak or anything like that. I mean, it, it's a super tight seal. And let me see if I can go to the other side. Um, the reason why I said I couldn't get to the 
I, I can, ow, what was that? Okay, sorry. Um, I can make it. It's just, I didn't want to put fingerprints on the car, but whatever. If I'm going to wash it tomorrow and look how dirty it is. It's got all water spots and stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, see? So this one, it's almost the exact same as well. I think it actually might be. It's just I'm at a weird angle right now. I'm kind of like <laughs> standing on one leg, but yeah, so you see? So this is a lot better. I loosened up both sides and now it fits perfectly. Sorry, I'm always out of breath when I'm talking to you guys. I'm sorry. I swear I'm in shape. I swear I'm fit. All right. But yeah, I couldn't be more thrilled now. The fact that I got the roof to sit right and now I understand that it is actually backing out those, the, the I guess, so So the pins, obviously that's not the issue. It's, it's the bolts or whatever that were just, the latches were just too, too tight. And they were actually digging into the metal since they're metal latches and I've got like a metal frame or whatever, um, it was actually grinding against it. So now the metal's sharp. I want to sand it down, but at the same time, I don't want all that dust to trickle down <laughs> into the car. So kind of le leaving it be for now. But yeah, so nice and flush. Everything is perfect. I'm so happy now. I can wash the car tomorrow. I can go to sleep tonight. I'll be happy. And yeah, see? So like <laughs> my enthusiasm is back. So definitely. Oh, I'm in love. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so good. Now, I can totally end the video now with so much enthusiasm. I'm super happy. I'm upbeat and everything. Um, trust me, the original ending that I had for this video that I just deleted on the phone, it, it was so depressing. You would have thought someone died. Um, like, my face was just super serious. I was just like, all right, guys. Um, I guess if you like that video, go ahead and click that like button. Um, I'm going to try to figure this out. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I will be able to. I don't know when I'll be able to show you guys videos but it is what it is so, so yeah like that it was horrible oh my gosh but uh yeah all right so now i can actually say if you like that video go ahead and click that like button hit subscribe i've got so much content that's going to be coming out um i think in like a week and a half about a week and a half give me a week and a half because i i got work and i got other things that i got to do and stuff like that so realistically probably a week and a half till i upload the next video um because i gotta get something done uh wednesday yeah, so today is Friday. I got to get something done Wednesday. And then I'll probably try to upload it before the end of next week. Um, so that's one. Then I've got like, all right. So this thing, this thing, like I had to have patience for this because this was made to order, right? And so I love that because I mean, it's custom made for you and everything. Um, so this took like three, almost a month, probably like almost a month, like about three and a half weeks. No, yeah, a month. All right, a month. So it's fine. I've got other parts that are being made to order and they're taking, they're going to take longer. Um, but trust me, it's insane what is about to happen to the vehicle. So, and it, if someone copies me in the local area, I'm going to be very upset because I went really, really like to the extreme trying to have this vehicle stand out. So I'm really hoping like I don't just drive by and see like another vehicle that looks just like mine with the parts that i'm about to put on it um so just try to be original people please <laughs> but yeah you guys are gonna love it. it it's it's gonna transform the whole vehicle it's i'm i'm not gonna keep talking about it or whatever because you guys will see it but yeah so tons of content and everything like that i'm in a great mood and stuff like that i don't even know how i'm gonna get to bed now um well actually i'm probably gonna tire myself out by waxing the other hood up the other roof, I apologize. The other roof and then putting it away. But anyways, all right. So yeah, um, I'm going to end it there. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, <laughs> I complain a lot, don't I? <sighs> Sorry. I just, you know, <laughs> I guess not too much happens in my life. So when something happens with the vehicle, I mean, it, it's, it's a super big deal. You know, I don't, I don't have any other issues in life. So this is like my child. But anyways, all right. So have a good night. I'll uh, see you guys soon. That looks really, really good. Oh man, that's awesome. That looks so good.